Hey all Chris Bassett here, and I just bought the TP-Link AC1200 Wi-Fi router. I'm going to be doing a review, instruction tutorial, and troubleshooting guide. Let's get into it. So I was just looking for a cheap router, like 30 bucks, that could uh, support my gaming in uh, 4K, as well as have guest internet access. I got this for about $30 at Walmart. I think you can find it for the same price on Amazon. The package contains your wireless router, a power adapter, an ethernet cable, and then an instruction guide. The back of the router has your power port, your WAN port, which you connect to the internet, and then your LAN ports if you want to hardwire any of your devices to the router. Also, I'd remove the plastic covering all four antennas. It's there to protect them, but you want the best reception possible. So just a real quick overview of the router. Uh, the, it does have good speed for 4K. It has either the 5G or the 2.4G. Um, it has beam forming, which allows it to like connect to your devices a little better. There is a port forwarding option for multiplayer games for better connectivity and a guest network. So that's pretty important for me. So let's go over the uh, quick installation guide. I'm gonna be using this as a router. It can also be used for a range extender. But basically, if you have a an e internet connection through an ethernet cable, uh, you just wanna you know plug it right into the WAN and then reset your router and then you'll be good to go. If you do have a modem, you will need to unplug the modem and then plug the router to the modem and then reset everything, you know, unplug everything and then plug it back in and let it restart. You can then launch a web browser at this address and then log into the router and then configure it inside. So we'll go over that next. Alrighty, so here's the bedroom with the computer. Uh, my fiber optic internet comes in through the wall here and you can see it's plugged in to keep it going. The, uh, the internet cord runs down through the carpet and then up behind the back of the computer. It's the blue cable. So I'll be plugging that blue cable into the WAN port of the router. The uh, gray cable goes into the back of my computer, so I have my computer just wired in directly. And then the silver is your power adapter, which plugs into an outlet in the wall. So there's your power adapter, plugs in all the way to the left. The blue is your WAN for your internet. And then I use the first port for the uh, computer. So make sure everything's plugged in and then go ahead and start your router up. You'll see the green lights means you're good to go. Here's a little troubleshooting guide if you're having trouble. It shows all the light colors and what they mean. But generally, if your router won't connect to the internet, unplug all the devices from the wall outlets, wait two to three minutes, and then plug them back in and let it restart. Alrighty, so the router's plugged to the internet and the computer's plugged to the router. And you have internet, you can check right here. Um, we're gonna go ahead and configure for wireless. So let's get started. Launch your web browser and enter http colon backslash backslash tplinkwifi.net. You'll be inside the router menu where you can now create a new password and then get started. There's also a QR code on the bottom of the router you can take a picture of and it will help you uh, log into this page as well. Go ahead and select your time zone uh, that you're in so your router can set itself up and then you'll want to select connection type. Uh, just use the auto detect feature. It should work for you. And then on the next page, um, when it says personalize wireless settings, this will be the name that shows up when you try to find your wireless network. So uh, I would just use my last name, Bassett, but you name whatever you want your uh, internet, your wireless to be called. Um, also keep in mind that some devices use the 2.4G, like I've got a Roku device that wouldn't show up on the 5G setting, but it did show up on the 2.4. So, you know, both of these I, are valuable to have. So I have both. Uh, the 2.4 and the 5. Just keep in mind that the 5 is faster, so if you're going to want to be, you know, streaming movies and stuff, try to hook it, try to hook that device to the 5. Once everything is named, then you can go ahead and hit next a couple of times until you're finished, and then you're good to go. So real quick from the main menu, if you scroll over to the third option, you can find the guest network, and here you can set up uh, private access to guests. I run an Airbnb, so I have my internet on my side of things, and then the Airbnb has access to the guest side. Under the advanced tab, there is the option for port forwarding, which can be helpful for like multiplayer video games. 
as well as the parental controls. You should now have access to a wireless internet. So go ahead and go into your uh, Wi-Fi device and then you'll see the list of available channels. Go ahead and choose whichever channel you want and then you have access to the internet. So I did record the back of the guide just in case you wanted any of this information for like an access point mode, uh, range extender mode, the, uh, the appearance of the routers, which is the lights, and then frequently asked questions. Uh, you can pause the video and review that information if it's helpful. Check out another video over here. I've got Amazon links for electronics in the description. Uh, use those links, no extra cost. You can help support the channel. Any other questions or comments, put below. Thanks.